Hi, Lanny Donahoe, down here in the closet in my basement in my office at my house where I've got all kinds of gadgets and catalysts that said, hey, why don't you make some kind of podcast? And I thought, okay, what should I talk about? And they said, we'll talk about anything you want to. So I thought, well, I'll come into the closet and I'm going to show you all the stuff that's in here. Found out just a while back that I'm pretty much a flashlight addict, and I didn't really realize it, but I'm going to show you these real quick. Real quick, Look, I've got a little bitty, you can plug this into your cigarette lighter, but when you turn it on, it's just a real bright flashlight. I've got a little flashlight that's about this size that you can clip onto your pocket, and it makes a bright light, about 175 lumens. I've got a little thing that's got a little belt clip on it, and a handle, and you pull that out, and it's a real solid, sturdy little flashlight. I've got a little flashlight that I got about 10 years ago that you can just clip onto your finger, and when you flip that little switch, it does a little amber light, which only works real well backstage when you're having to walk through the dark and you can't figure out what you're doing. I've got a little book light that's got a little thing on it that bends like that, and when you turn it on like this, it's got a really bright light on it, and it's just <laughs> cool because it's small. I've got a book light that you can clip onto your books, like this right here, and when you clip it on, that just kind of hangs over the side of your book, and that way it doesn't bother anybody that's in the dark. I've got flashlights that you can wind up, like this right here, and you never have to have a battery, and when you wind it up, Forever, when the electricity goes out, when America fails and we don't have any juice at all, I've got this right here. And speaking of that, I can protect myself because right here in my closet, I have some type of, and I'm not sure what it's called, but it's a German gun. My dad took it off of a prisoner during World War II, and um, it hasn't been shot since 1941, but it still has a clip in it with two 9mm bullets in the side of it. I'm going to take that this week and figure out how much it's worth, but I'll never sell it. But it is a cool gun, so if you're thinking about breaking into my closet and taking any of this stuff, don't do it. I won't really need the book lights because I have a Kindle, because, again, I'm a gadget freak. The Kindle is amazing. You can put a hundred and hundreds and hundreds of books on this Kindle, read them all, the New York Times, the Wall Street Journal, anything you want, all right here with a battery that lasts forever. But Kindle number two is now being produced and should be out by the time you watch this type of thing. Of course, I've got an iPhone, and everybody loves iPhones. One of my favorite things is to look at the apps on the iPhone. And a lot of times when people say they're having problems, I just play a little violin thing here. And let, and let them know how sad their sob story is, and that's one of my favorite things. But there are other apps that I love. Evernote is one of my favorite apps because you take notes on your iPhone and it automatically goes to your computer and it automatically goes to the web and it switches back and forth and it labels them and you can take pictures with it. And speaking of taking pictures, I take pictures sometimes with this little Olympus because it goes underwater. And I don't know how they make it where it has all kinds of buttons and little stuff like this and a card in it and it goes underwater and it doesn't affect it. But I have another camera right here that takes about a 12 me megapixel thing. But the cool thing about this is that when you take the little card out, you can see that it says iFi on it. And what this means is that whenever I take a picture with this camera, because of that card, the pictures that are on that card automatically, without connecting it to anything, goes through the air and connects to my Evernote, which I can then push a button, and it goes over to my iPhoto, which, of course, is in my iBook. I'm looking at my other stuff. I've got a little flashlight here that's on a little tripod, and you can just set that up on a tripod. I actually have this camera on a tripod, and if I took it over to a mirror, you could see the camera on the tripod, I think. And, oh, look, it's me wearing Cartman pajamas. I don't know whether you should have known that or not. Um, the other gadgets that are in here, of course, I've got two little iPods that I never use anymore, but I will use them when I decide to jog. I just haven't decided to do that yet. So I've shown you almost any everything. Oh, yeah, except this. I don't know why I have this. I think I have it because I once watched Rambo, and I thought Rambo was really cool, and so I got a Rambo knife, and even on the end, ouch, I just cut myself. Even on the end of it, you can twist it off, and it's got that sewing kit, so if you, you know, fall down 180 feet and cut yourself with the tree, you can take the sewing kit and sew up your own flesh, which is kind of cool. So uh, pretty much just showing you all the stuff that's down here in my closet if you ever want to come. I also have um, this thing right here, which is a headband flashlight, so that in case the power does go off and you need to use your hands in order to use uh, something else, I can't get it turned on right now, but... Uh, but if you need to use both hands, you've got a flashlight on your head in front of you. I also have another one of those that's in a cool little pouch like this that you carry on your belt with a little belt clip. And let's see if there's anything else that you should see in my closet. All that to say, 
I really like gadgets. And, oh, look, this right here, this sticks on your wall, and then it Velcros off, and then all you do is push it, and it becomes the light, and it's amazing in a dark room. I have one of these stuck to the wall in my room, and uh, somebody in my house doesn't like it because it looks bad, but anytime I need to get up in the middle of the night, I just push that, and it allows me to walk through the house without falling over myself. <sighs> I think that's pretty much it. Oh, no, um, the gun... Uh, reminded me that um, I I've been going to a shooting range lately with my sons, which I never had done before. And check this out. Um, this is the target. And from about 50 yards away, those right there, that's my shooting with my uh, 357 Magnum. So um, I think pretty much that's as long as they'll let me do a blog for and that's all the stuff that I see right now. If we do section two, I'll pull all the other stuff off the shelves. But um, don't forget that Catalyst is coming up in October and you want to be there. And that Big Stuff is having a film festival. And if you know anybody at all that knows how to do films, not like this where there's a big white light on my head but knows how to do lighting, uh, you want them to apply. So go to BigStuffFilmFestival.com after you've gone to BigStuffMedia.com. And that's all I have for you today. Thanks. Let's see if I can turn this off. One more thing. The camera that I used, it's called a Sanyo Exacti, and it does 1980 by, what, 1720 pixels. That's full on HD. And if you got real, real close in the light, you could see every hair on my beard. And it needs to be dyed. When you see me at Catalyst, those will be brown again. One more thing, two million candle power. This shoots a beam of light across three neighborhoods, about 5,000 yards, and will totally light up the ceiling, the roof of the neighbors in three neighborhoods away. Two million candle power. Okay, that's all, I promise.